Honda has updated its popular three-row crossover. Not only is there new styling to talk about, it's also got new features, technology, and more refinement than ever before. The 2019 Pilot is cleared for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this review. But first, a brief video demonstrating some of the safety features of this landcraft. Make sure that your seatbelt is fastened low and tight across your lap, that all backrests are in their upright position, and all aisle armrests are lowered. This crossover has six emergency exits, two on each side near the wheels, one at the back, and another up top. Make sure to locate the nearest exit, keeping in mind, it may be above you. In the event of boredom, a display screen will fold down from the compartment above your head. Select your own entertainment option before helping others. Refer to the safety information booklet located in the glove compartment for details. Federal regulations require you to comply with all posted placards and crew member instructions. I said sit the f down! In the unlikely event of a water parking, familiarize yourself with the optional torque vectoring all-wheel drive system. Tampering with, damaging, or disabling the emissions control system is punishable by fines and or jail time. Now that this review is off the ground, let's talk about design. The 2019 Pilot gains standard LED low beam headlamps. The grille and bumpers are new, as are its taillights. Now, lower end models roll on 18 inch wheels, but touring and elite versions feature snazzy 20s. Inside, the most important thing to know about the Pilot's updated interior is volume knob. Beyond this groundbreaking rotary control interface, designers have thrown in some new trim and there are available heated front seats with three levels of adjustability. Rear sunshades are also offered on higher end models and there's greater availability of second row captain's chairs. But things do get a lot more interesting once we talk about technology, and that's because Honda Sensing, the brand suite of advanced driver assistance technologies, is included in every version of the Pilot. Now, what does that get you? Well, how about things like forward collision warning, road departure mitigation, lane keep assist, and my personal favorite, the ever useful adaptive cruise control. Now, beyond that, automatic high beams and a multi-angle backup camera should also be included in all 2019 pilots, but if you do opt for an EX or higher model, they come with blind spot monitoring as well. And beyond that, you can also get wireless charging for your phone, which is always super handy to have. There's a new display audio system with a vibrant 8-inch screen. It's standard on EX and higher trims. With Android as its foundation, this infotainment system features customizable shortcuts and simplified menus, so it's easier to use. Of course, common smartphone gestures like pinch to zoom, swiping and tapping are all supported. And both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are baked right in. Now, under the hood, we've got a tried and true 3.5 liter gasoline V6 engine, and it delivers a class competitive 280 horsepower with 262 pound feet of torque. Best of all, it runs on regular grade gasoline, so you don't need to spend extra at the pump. Curiously, Honda is offering two different automatic transmissions in the Pilot. Lower end versions make do with a six speed gearbox, but the Touring and Elite versions, well, they have a nine ratio transmission. And Honda points out that they've worked to refine this gearbox, which really hasn't had the best reputation for shift quality. And I'm happy to report it's reasonably well behaved in the 2019 version. Now, this transmission does start off in second gear in normal driving, which blunts performance slightly, though with nine ratios in the stack, the low gears are all plenty low, so it's not that big of a deal. However, if you've got it in sport mode, you go wide open, or you're starting on a hill, it will drop down into first gear, of course, for maximum acceleration. The engine stop-start system has also been retuned to be faster and smoother, and I've got to say it's quite transparent now. Of course, that system is designed to improve fuel economy, and the most efficient version of the 2019 Pilot, one with the nine-speed transmission and front-wheel drive, should return 20 miles per gallon in city driving, 27 on the highway, and 23 mpg combined. Now, one part of the Pilot that has not been touched is its optional all-wheel drive system. Yes, it's still of the torque vectoring variety, and it can send up to 70% of maximum twist 
to just the rear axle, and of that 70%, 100% can be routed to either the left or the right wheel, which can help eliminate understeer, make the vehicle handle a lot better. It also makes it quite a capable off-roader. They had a small course set up for us to try it on, and I was suitably impressed by how well it handled rocks, ruts, and other terrain. The all-wheel drive system does offer four different modes. There's normal, snow, mud, and sand, and each one of those changes how it responds, adjusting the torque split and throttle response so the vehicle can perform its best in varying conditions. But what does all of this cost? I don't know. Well, actually I do. A base LX front wheel drive model is going to run you $32,445, including $995 in delivery fees. But if you want a top of the line elite version with all the bells and whistles, plan on shelling out about fifty grand. The Pilot was already an excellent choice in the three-row utility segment, but it has been made even better for 2019. And of course, if you like what you see here, you can check one out yourself at your local Honda store right now. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Autoguide.com YouTube channel. But if you're already inside that inner circle, go ahead and click on the little bell icon here on the YouTube page. That means you will be alerted every time we upload a video. It'll buzz your phone, it'll buzz your computer, even at inopportune moments. But it's going to be worth it, because you'll be able to watch more of our stuff. Much obliged, matey, much obliged.